Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. And then cut it, pull it back and then cut it here. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so we have some to work on it. Yeah, yeah. okay, here goes, this is it. We started. <laughs> <laughs> so we're starting to work today on a van. Simon did all the polish outside and put the, um, the so. graphics on. Yeah, it looks very cool. We bought this Sprinter van back in April last year, just outside Gibraltar when we were leaving the boat. We needed to get all our belongings back to the UK. We always intended to convert it into a camper. And now we're going to cut this bit here because we're going to build the bathroom just right here. Here, bathroom's here. Yeah. This is the shower here yeah. and that's the toilet. The van will have a double bed at the rear. A small bathroom on the starboard side with shower and cassette toilet. And then the galley will be along the port side consisting of four units with a sink and a burner. So it's going to have a shower in the toilet. So here we are, day one on the camper. Hey! <laughs> we are a bit far away from that. So this is the uh, toilet shower room. It's very small, very compact, but uh, obviously it's a camper van. So, but there is enough room to, to have a loo, yeah, uh, a little yeah. cassette loo, yeah. and uh, just enough room for a shower. So, and then we've got a set of double seats here, you see. So this is where you'll be able to sit, look out if it's a bit drizzly or something. And, uh, it's very good actually because if the door is open, you can just sit here. Yeah, you know, you've got a bit of and work, and you have yeah. the table here. We'll have a little table. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Can be a nomad. A nomad. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't cut the front door of the toilet yet. No, this panel's going on the front of the toilet, yeah. and then it's going to get cut. But and it's got to have a door put into it. But it can't have a door yet because we're not quite sure. The, the measures. The yeah, for the for the doorway. Yeah. 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 But uh, it's uh, looking good. Well, the week is ready. Yeah, nearly. Well, <laughs> not quite, but you know, we will get there. We are covering this main panel with the same system we use on the barge. A three millimeter foam layer covered with a grained vinyl. On here, we're actually going to staple along the edge, which is the front, and then we will put an aluminium edging strip over here to cover the, the uh, corner. It'll protect it and give us a lovely edge. That's all coming on. Uh, just got a floor in here for the toilet now to sit on, so it's the same height as the top of the shower. And uh, we've got to drill the hole for the shower, and then this whole room gets cladded on the inside with the uh, bathroom cladding, 
which we've brought with us. And this looks nice. Yeah, this has to have um, a little white strip along here, but that will happen after we put the new ceiling in. And uh, the same sort of trim here is going to go around the, around the doors. This isn't fixed, it's just sitting there at the moment. And then we're just going to put a simple shower curtain here, aren't we? Yeah, but a hard, hard one, one, not yeah. those... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, we're going to see what we can get in IKEA tomorrow morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that, yeah, that's just about it. There's a beam in here. centimeter down we brought with us two 121 solar panels which we're going to rig on the roof to provide power for the battery well that normally is rather a frustrating day uh, on the roof we did manage to get one of the solar panels in which is really good um, but really yeah, it's coming on not too bad and we know what we're doing with the second solar panel so that'll happen a lot quicker in the morning but as for now we're both sort of uh, had enough what are you doing now i've just put the solar uh, cables in i've put a box on the wall here with uh, cables hanging out and i'll join those together and then i'll run it down this cable to the mppt so that's the plan we wanted to take advantage of the fan which is built into the roof of the van. Uh, hopefully this will work. Okay, here we go. So, this is the old dome, which we sanded down and painted. So I'm just going to give it a little squirt. Here we are back cutting this horrible stuff again but I'm just doing it, chopping it with the um, angle grinder because uh, these edges don't get seamed so it's not so important. It's a bigger kitchen than a lot of houses. <laughs> there you go, sick. Oh. Oh. So cute, isn't it? Enough, it's like a doll's fridge. Yeah, we have to turn that thing around so it opens the other way.
so the gas is all connected and everything and also we've got the taps in and uh, the sink's just about to go in but also down here we have uh, the electric switches and uh, so all of this has been wired up so that uh, all the switches will be here and um, we've just got the uh, connections to do here for the plumbing um, so actually we're doing really well <laughs> 